This is an example of an HMI, or Human Machine Interface. Now, being the true geek that I am, I actually installed one of these in my home, connected to a PLC. So what you have here is a touch screen, and you can see right here a very crude image of my house where I'm measuring various temperatures. I have a temperature sensor in the attic, I have one in the laundry closet where the PLC is located, another one in the crawl space, and a temperature sensor outside. Now for some of these I'm also measuring the high and low temperatures recorded for a given interval. Now for example, in the attic I'm measuring a high temperature, outside temp high and low, the house temperature and crawl space temperature I'm just reading live. I don't have any high or low captures on that. I can also reset the high-low captures by pushing the reset button. This being a touch sensitive screen, I can actually put icons on the screen that do certain things when they're activated. I can also go to a graph section. We can look here at a graph of temperatures over time, and I can scroll backwards and forwards on the graph, watching the temperature rise and fall. And let's see, we also have a weather page showing a crude picture of a thermometer. And as temperature rises and falls, the thermometer bar graph goes up and down. You can also see the high and low temperatures we've captured for this time period. And I can also reset it right there. Uh, so far I have nothing programmed in for security, but eventually that's on its way. And then I have a general system screen where I can adjust screen contrast and also adjust the hour up and down for daylight savings. And of course I can go back to any of these screens I want to with a touch of the legend on the side. And there's a screen off button where I can turn it off. So that's an introduction to a basic HMI and some of the things it can do.